Hello everyone and welcome back to Lavalia's Coloring. We are now in day four of my advent calendar coloring where I will continue coloring in Chihiro Shiomi's illustration. This is her 2018 advent calendar she made and so I already did day one. Here is day two, and then here is day three. And then I realized that I forgot little details like the number three over here. Just wanna color it kind of the same way as I did the number one. So I'm just gonna come in with the ivory. Right there. I take the raw umber just to give it a little shadow and then around so it's this way I'm just gonna write in the number three so you can see it and then I have my clear jelly roll this is the Sakura Stardust and I'm just going to go around the label right over there. That's it. I just wanted to add a little glitter. I don't know if the, I think the glitter kind of went over the three, the top part of the three. There we go. <laughs> so there it is so that's it so now my third day is done and then so we'll go ahead and get started on number four day four which is right over here i'm just gonna move my camera a little bit and i'll be right back okay so here we are so i do have to let you know that my son is here with us and so we might hear him in the background so i'm gonna start off with the smoke blue which is number 379 and white that's 500 i forgot to use the white on the <laughs> snow down here but i think it's because i just realized i didn't really need it so um i'm going to be using the smoke blue on this portion here on this one uh, because this whole thing is going to be colored in i will add some white Posca to it so I'm just gonna go ahead and color this in I was trying to decide how I was gonna color this before I <laughs> recorded just to have my um, colors ready ready and so that I'm not like just sitting here staring at the page so I was thinking about it um, before I went to sleep last night just trying to decide the color scheme for this little area using the colors that I already have pulled out and I think I have an idea of what I'm going to do the only thing is the background I'm still kind of unsure undecided so I'm going to do that part last and I was I think I made a decision already about the, the background so I'm um, continuing on after this um, fourth day um, so before the fifth day um, when I come back the whole uh, wall is going to be colored in just so that I can just focus in the, the details um, for each of the day and I won't have to worry about the background so this one much done smoothing out the grays the smoke gray or smoke blue and then i'll come in with the for these little branches here I am again using the olive yellow 198. Stick it in here. 
and then I'll have the olive green, number 189. And yeah, the way I was decide how I um, continue coloring when I um, when I'm at a stopping point is I take pictures of my page just to see how it looks like as a whole and then trying to figure out how I'm going to continue or where I need to add more. So on my phone I have several pictures of like progression of my pages that I color. I think it's a great way to help you decide how you're going to color your page or if you get stuck with like an area and can't decide what to color it it's great to just take a picture of it let your page sit and then come back to it later which now I can like um, I can just like, leave the page work on something else then come back after I finally made a decision but before I used to just like stick to one page I never had whip so I that's why for me before I used to take me like two weeks just to finish um, one whole is illustration so I'm gonna color the people I'm just gonna pick random colors colors that I have already used so I'm just gonna Color these little guys in. So I'll pick green for that. I'll go red here. I was like, am I making like a stop stoplight colors? <laughs> red, green, and yellow. I won't. I'm going to do the middle. Purple. Let's come in with the white over the green here. And then I also have... I'm just going to use this one. A Bordeaux red. I'm just picking random colors it's just for these little like ornaments on his window okay, I'll use the cherry blossom for this one okay so I picked up two more colors from the whole vines so I picked up peach number 120 and then I also picked up shell pink, ooh, 019. So this one is for just the little faces here. I just want to see if this one is so small, I'm just gonna go with the peach. But I'll use this later for the guy. There, I'm gonna get the, I use cocoa. I'll just go ahead and use cocoa. 098 for the mule here. Really, really small. Just gonna grab which one is this? Remember, actually, I want sepia, 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 sepia. It's dark. I just want to just a little I'm gonna bring back the signal red that I used on this one but use it on the so small just a little area I'm just gonna fill it in and then I'm gonna pick up indigo this I'm 
there. Maybe a matching cap. <laughs> I'm just gonna come in with the cool gray, number 534. This is number four. Just to. And that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna make the frame of his window also in the gray, so I'll bring back the colors that I used for silver. <laughs> so I will go ahead and start coloring that in. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that one dark. So I'm just gonna color the frame. Oh, so how is everyone doing? I do hope that you guys are doing well. We're coming upon our first weekend of December. Tomorrow is my dad's birthday. He is turning 71. And yeah, so his present should be there by now. Just my parents are by themselves in Las Vegas, but they but I keep up with them along with my siblings. Um, every Sunday, we it's gonna use the white here. Zoom every Sunday night, but. Um, this weekend we're going to be zooming for my dad's birthday. So I'm just going to add a little lamp black just to darken that part. Darken this part. <laughs> Shadows here. Right here. Yeah, so when I add the Posca, it should stand out a lot more. So I'm just gonna do the. She already added some little bit of shadow on the illustration so I'm just going to follow that but just go in and darken it. Let's get this one. So I'm just following what she has here. Oops. It's pressing too hard. <laughs> there. It's like oh no my whole bind. didn't realize I was doing it too hard. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and hmm, how am I gonna do this? I'm just going to do make this the cool gray four. Just color that in. Oh here. And did you guys already finish some Christmas illustrations? I'm still currently working the, on the one. <laughs> I did finish um, a couple of Christmas cards though. So I'm going to be sending those out soon. So I'm going to do some more. Or this one, kind of want it a darker gray, so I'm just going to use a lamp black and then fill it in with the cool gray. It's going to do a light. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, I was like, what is going on here? Where are those 
things on the roof. Looks like it's supposed to be some kind of domino. Um, board <laughs> on the roof. What do you call it that? Yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm just gonna color it like just regular. I'm just gonna make those circles gold. So do if you know what it is, let me know. <laughs> or if you have an idea. So here I am with the cool gray. And then cool gray too for this bottom one. I'm just gonna leave the inside parts of this window wide. Or maybe I can just from here. There you go. Just a little bit. I changed my mind fast. <laughs> so and I'm just gonna bring in the black, just darken this part again. Okay, so for the roof, I decided to go with the color that I was going to use like for the ribbons, which are red, but they're darker than the signal red. I wanted a deeper shade, so I'm going to use the same color, but for the roof, and I'm going to be using the colors I'm using for it is Carmine 042. Burgundy 080 and Raisin number 486. I'm going to lay down a layer of the burgundy. I'm going to do the gold uh, coins on the roof. Maybe that's for luck. Gold coins on the roof. Or good fortune. I'm just going to slowly put that there. I'm going to bring the raisin and just. I don't know. Is the roof. I'm going to think it's dark up here, and then as it slopes, um, it'll be lighter. I'm going to use a. The clear Sakura Stardust to do the lines that are crisscrossing across the roof. So, here we go. So now I'm coming in with the burgundy. So last night my daughter was asking me, Mom, what is your 2020 wrap from Spotify? And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, um, but I guess uh, Spotify puts together like what your top five songs are from 2020, your top five artists, and then also your top five genres. And mine was kind of funny because, you know, I don't just listen to it for myself. I sometimes listen to it for some songs for my youngest like my number one song for 2020 is be our guest from beauty and the beast and i was like what that's my number one song but yeah it, it there was a time like earlier in the year when i was introducing like all the uh, Disney movies to my son. I think Disney Plus just came out. No, did it come out last year? It came out last year. But um, my son hasn't watched all of the Disney movies. So one of them was Beauty and the Beast. And he loved that song. So we played that over and over again. Because he loved it so much. So I'm just adding the carmine to add like a hint of red on top of the burgundy. 
I don't want it so red, so it's just a just a touch. I wasn't really sure how that was gonna look, but I'm gonna add a little more burgundy. There. Yeah, and then my number two song, I don't know why, but <laughs> it's Alone from Heart. And I don't know if you guys know that song, but I don't remember why I was listening to that song over and over again. It might have been because I was singing it on the karaoke and then I just wanted to listen to the song and sing along to it, probably as I was coloring. And then two songs on my top five are from Taylor Swift. My number three was Exile with Bon Iver or Bon Iver. But she just sings a duet with Justin Vernon. It's a very beautiful song. I really suggest that you listen to it if you haven't heard it. But yeah, that song I can listen to over and over again. So. I'm just like going over and over that. I think that one is done. So I'm just going to clean up this really quick. But yeah, Taylor Swift, I'm, I'm a really big fan of her. I think when I first um, heard of her, I think it was with Love Story. I was actually, I forgot what I was doing, but my daughters I was trying to you know like introduce songs from like their generations just to you know I really encourage music in our house so uh, I was listening to her songs and I just really loved it and so I introduced my daughters to it to her songs and I ended up being the one that was like I'm more of a fan than my daughters are, which is okay. I don't mind. Yeah, so I've been enjoying each and every one of her uh, albums. I'm so happy that she's able to at least, you know, um, re record her past six albums. Yes, I follow her, <laughs> her little drama with the with what's going on with her previous albums. It's really hard to color these. They're so small. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna color the birds blue. So it will be the same blues that I use on the flower right over here. And if you hear construction in the background, like loud rumblings, I apologize. My house right now is like vibrating because they're like right behind my house. And I'm facing the back of our house too, so that's where the sunlight is coming from. It's going to come here. This one, leaving the bellies white, and the indigo blue, just a little bit, just at the wings, just a touch, so much, just under their like heads. And then under part of their wings. Right here. Then I'm gonna come in with. I was, thought I was gonna use the horizon blue, but I'm not. So I'm gonna come in with the white instead and just whiten up the bellies. I'm gonna come in with gray. Right here. Get the white. Get my 
fuchsia and put it on the heart. There we go, and then on the tree, I'm going to use the malachite green that I used down here. So I'm going to put this on a layer of that, come in with the fur green, and I'm just going to add my shadows just here and there. So when I have enough, I'm going to come back with the malachite and just go over the shadowed part and just go up. Okay, to leave some light part, so I have the trunk. Uh, I'm going to use the burnt umber. Here and brown. Kind of with the. They're not going to press it hard. There. Gonna come in with the light or lamp black just for this part. I think I might use the um, glitter gel pen for this. Okay, so for the guy, I am going to come in with the cool gray number four. I am using a lot of grays and just color in where I think he would have a shadowed area. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm just guessing right now, you know, where I think the shadows would be. And then it does help, you know, like when you look at pictures or stuff. So I'm coming in with the horizon blue because I want his um, shirt to actually be blue. I'm just using the cool gray as a shadow before I just fill it in. Yeah, it looks more greenish, greenish blue. Actually, let me go try the smoke gray. <laughs> I'm wondering if that would be closer in color. Uh, again, I apologize for the construction outside. Can't be helped, but you know, I didn't think they're going to be this loud. It's going to come in with the white and just blend it all out. Let me come in with the lamp black, which I sharpen and just lightly sharpen up like the lines right here add a little bit more deeper shadows because I already laid down like the, the white and the gray it's not much of the lamp black is going to be picked up so I just want a little bit anyways so that really helps 
for me that I think, you know, when you add just a little bit of a shadow. You're sorry and quiet. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go go ahead and color his skin. I'm gonna start off with the peach. And so see it here. Since it's such a small space, I'm just going to wherever his uh, the shadowed area. There and then just I'm gonna come in with shell pink and just fill it in. I'll go ahead and give him back here. Just going to, I'll use the smoke blue again. Just going to fill it in with the smoke blue. Then use the lamp black just to fill it in like that. I don't know how his hair is going. Just pick a side and just go. <sighs> just darken his eyes. Should I add pink cheeks? So I have the fuchsia just a little bit. High by his eyes. There. I had to step out a little bit for a bit um, to help my son. So, with the um, background in the side, I was th I'm just going to use the same colors that I use for the wall, but darker, so it looks like it's dark outside or inside. So, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, yeah, I was trying to figure out what am I going to do. So, I'm just going to start with the sepia. I start from one corner and then gradually uh, fade out. <laughs> and then go on the side. Yeah, I'm just going to have it lighter on top. I wasn't sure how I was going to do this. So I'm just going to go like this. Yeah, so when I did that uh, 2020 wrapped, the genres that were picked uh, was... For number one, I had mellow gold <laughs> which is not a surprise to me I love the soft rock songs it's what I grew up with my parent my dad would listen to that a lot so I learned to love all those songs when I was growing up I used to read um, in our living room with the radio playing and the I think they called it the goldies but oldies station or something like that and yeah so that would be playing in the background while I listen to music from the 70s and Yeah, so that's why um, some of my top artists, so no, my top artists are, number one is Taylor Swift, two is Billy Joel, three is Bread, 
four is Journey, and then five is Elliot Smith. Yeah, there was a time like a couple months ago where I was like just wanted to listen to all the soft rock. Hold on one moment. Okay, sorry. <laughs> My son wanted to tell me about what's going on in the movie. Uh, he's watching the Mickey Mouse Very Merry Christmas. Okay. So I think this is good. Just want to even out the darkness on both sides. Okay, so we are done with the background, so we're going to, or the, the inside of the room, we are going to use the same colors for the wall, so I'm just going to, this one I'm going to go lightly here. So like I said earlier, uh, I'm going to continue coloring the wall on my own so that I can concentrate more on the little um, details for each of the days. I'm going to use gel pen for this. Yeah, because I think I'm already at 30 minutes right now. But I know the like, part of the thing is I am um, slow, I guess. <laughs> really slow. Or I just layer a lot. But I am... Um, I did try to edit my video so I can take out parts where sometimes I'm just like looking for a pencil amongst all the pencils I have right beside me just for the right color. So I tried to take out um, those to save some time. How far is this? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to make it even. I do have some Christmas washi tapes that I bought from a couple years ago I haven't used. So, try to remember to bring those out. I have some things over here. It's okay. So, I'm going to come in with the raw umber, like underneath this window. I hope I wasn't covering the illustration. I can't remember. And again, just gonna do the. Uh, I'm gonna do that one later when I get to that side. On this side. Mm. Just add some shadow right behind the roof. Maybe by the birds a little bit because it's like we're looking up at them so yeah we like right there just about uh, I'm not sure if I should put one for him I um, might as well I already have it here This one. Did I go over? I don't think I went over that. Oh, I think the wall goes all the way up here. It's hard to see if I'm even with the lighter shades. I don't think I am. <laughs> As I go like this. Because I'm recording, I'm trying to go faster. So usually, I'm. This is how I'm coloring. If I'm by myself, how I color through. Um, that's how I would have colored these. This whole section, but we would have been here forever if I did that. So I'm just trying to. Be a little faster. 
I'm just gonna add the shadows for that have to stay consistent with what I did earlier just gonna make it like a blob there right there I'll put a little shadow on this side just for a little bit not so much right there and then come in with the sepia just gonna darken this And over here, I forgot. Was that I sang something earlier? No, it was about music. But yeah, so those are my top artists. But I don't listen to Spotify all the time. It's just like when I remember I want to listen to something, like. Um, Taylor Swift's music and like all the soft rock <laughs> songs. Yeah. But they also have my so my top genre are one, mellow gold, two is post teen pop. Uh, so those are like the mainstream songs that you'd hear on the radio. And then at these here then number three is classic rock number four is show tunes which I'm thinking is because of um, Beauty and the Beast my number one song for 2012 and then number five is indie rock so I forgot to do that part let's see Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of Posca to these. Okay, so I made sure to shake it like a lot, but first let me, I forgot. Um, these diamond shaped stuff, I'm just going to put in the gold. I'm just going to finish those up later. And then was it the cocoa right there and then I am going to use the silver I just want to get these done so I'm not like putting my hands on top of it so I have the uniball signal um, 0.8 just going to follow the lines mm. I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna I don't want to cover all of the black I'm just gonna make it the outline be like the uh, shadow for the nail that's up there Then I'll bring the morning moss. This is the same one that I used in number one. So I'm just going to right there. And do I want to add it somewhere else? 
Maybe I can add it to this one. Let me just, I'm gonna put the silver on, hmm. I'm gonna add the silver in the bottom part right over here where that dotted line is. I'm just gonna let that sit for a second and dry. I want to put a sparkle on that button. So I'm gonna use the 744 sparkle. The Stardust that I used before, just for his buttons. I want to use it for the king staff. Um, I'm use it for the little balls on their hat. Just for that part and for these hanging thingies. There you go. And I'm going to use the clear one for the heart. There you go, right there. And should I use it on these? No, no, I have a bit too much. <laughs> so for the, for the little cloud thingies, I'm just going to. Over. Did I go over the the staff? I did. Oh, go fix that. Right there. Concentrating on going over the black lines. <laughs> Sorry. My son is explaining what's going on in the Mickey Mouse Christmas movie. He's watched it before, but I don't think he remembers it. So, I think that's it. I feel like I forgot his neck. <laughs> it's like stark white there. Okay, um, I want to add like a hint of blue to the windows just a little bit. Just to say that there are windows. not gonna do too much to it I think that's good right there and I'm gonna put some sparkle on these whatever they are on top of the roof is it roof this little thing that's hanging out or is there a name for that I think there's a name for it I feel like there is Okay, and I'm just going to darken the number four. And my puppy is scratching at my door now. There, so we are done. So here is day four's picture. I will, when I come back with day five, uh, the whole wall should be colored in. And day five is going to be this one here with the little girl, with the little girl uh, reading her book by, and the bay window it looks like. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for joining me for day four in my coloring in Shihiro Shiomi's advent calendar. Please take care, keep safe and healthy, and happy colorings. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.